Hey, it's Joe Lyons. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, using a dictionary search replace in Excel. So let's say you have a file that um, every week or every day or whatever, you get it in and um, there's a, a, you know, especially there's like abbreviated words and you want to replace that with an actual description that's, that's easier for people to understand. Um, this is why I wrote this. Um, so let's say you had a file um, that had a bunch of ones and every time you wanted, so here, every time there's a one, you want to replace the one with the account um, specific and every time you find a two you want to replace it with um, RAL mark for relationship marketing and um, so again this is going to use my function library and I get a pointer to it right here it's asking for the range if you don't put in a range it's going to do the entire worksheet um, I just thought often I don't really care where it does a search replace so I have that as an option otherwise I can put in a range here I could say like a1 to f9 and it would only do the search replace within that area. So it, it's nice to be able to do that. I could keep dumping in as many key value pairs. So hopefully this is somewhat familiar to you. This is a auto hotkey object right here. And um, so there's just, you, if I had another one, let's do another one here. So comma um, three, and then you put in uh, a colon, and then what you're gonna replace the three with. Um, cool. So now I'm gonna save this, reload it, and when I run it, it should, I actually saw it, and I'll make this red too. I made all the one, twos, and threes red, so you'll notice that's where they happen. They could happen anywhere, but that's where on my data file, that's where they are. So I'm gonna save it, reload it, and run it. And notice it goes through, and it just goes through everywhere and replaces them. So if you had, um, again, just abbreviations or misspellings or whatever, right? It's a great way that you can have this built and then just go through your entire file. The second one I want to demonstrate was some tools, some older tools, or actually just tools in general, I guess, um, will export data to Excel and they dump in this null um, text string, which for is a representation supposed to mean that it's blank. Right, and that actually, it's kind of ironic to me that it's it's null, but it takes up a lot of space. And when you go through, if you have a big file, let's say you have, you know, a couple hundred thousand rows, um, having this extra text in here actually takes up a fair amount of space. So I just wrote one that um, Excel replace null, and um, I need to give it a pointer to the handle to the office, um, uh, sorry, uh, Excel. Now here, actually, I think that's is that it, that's it. Oh, I can give it a range, um, or, which is normally what I want to do is, I don't really care about the range, so um, I'm just going to let it run. So I'm going to hit, hit, hit save. Now this could have been filled with a million rows of stuff, and it would go through and basically just delete them. So it's a quick, easy way. And of course, if you actually dig into that formula, um, sorry, function, you can you could see how it works. Um, I easily could have had another parameter here, and maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I can make that to the default and just say it's really not a... a replace null to it's a delete uh, any certain character you find any certain thing but um i used to use this a lot so it was just nice having it as i didn't have to pass any parameters to it and uh, it would go through and clean up my file all right thanks